what he knows. New evidence confirms what many have been feeling in the Bay Area. The middle class is shrinking and the rich are getting richer. The Pew Research Center study highlights the problem in the San Francisco area. From 2000 to 2014, the percentage of top income earners went up four points, while middle income earners went down five. Similar story in the San Jose area where the upper income tier went up three points and the middle income tier went down four points. KPI X5's John Ramos looks at the impact on people as they lose ground and fall out of that middle class. The Bay Area is often seen as a shining beacon in the recovery from the Great Recession. But the employment growth in this area may be hiding a troubling fact. A lot of the jobs that are created are either low paying or high paying and less and less in the middle. A report from the Pew Research Group shows an alarming decrease in the middle class since the turn of the new century. Figures show that in the Bay Area, the growth of upper income jobs corresponds almost exactly with a loss of middle income jobs. Dr. John Gruenstein at St. Mary's College in Moraga says there are real consequences when a society loses its middle class. A lack of social cohesion. People get uh, very isolated from each other. He says that's being reflected in this year's presidential campaign as both the right and the left search for someone to blame for the growing income inequality. People come in, they're, they're very frustrated, they're very depressed. The Monument Crisis Center in Concord is setting up for an event tomorrow where people, many of whom used to be middle class, will be connected with services to help with basic survival. The program's director says she's seeing clients who are teachers, county workers, ordinary people who used to be self-sufficient. The ability to make a good living and take care of your children and provide for basic needs is really um, escaping most families. The gap between rich and poor is growing as business turns to automation and globalization. The last time America was in this situation, it took a world war to put the economy back into balance. Everyone is hoping that won't be necessary again. In Concord, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The Pew Research Group found that nationally since the year 2000, the share of adults living in middle-income households fell in 9 out of 10 metro.